What is up guys? It is Saw DK here. Yeah, I got a little face cam action on the place right there. A lot of people have been requesting After Effects tutorials and I'm here doing one now. Um, this one's gonna be over motion tracks. This is what I do for my motion tracks. And there's some new things that I wanna try, but I'm just gonna go over how I do it at the moment. So you're gonna wanna import your scene. Cinematic, right? So then you put it right there just drag it into the composition so you got your cinematic there and we're gonna put the text like let's say right there so I'm gonna go in here you're gonna type in tracker and I use the 3d tracker that's built in after effects and what a lot of people do or what some people do is they'll take it in like Bougie or mocha and they'll do it there after effects has another um plugin called the 3d I think it's like the foundry tracker or something and some people like to use that I personally don't um, because that never works for me so I just use this and um, normally I keep my cinematic at a point one time scale so I have um, full control I record it as slow as I possibly can on pretty much all the Call of Duties um, <laughs> duty. um, same thing goes for things in real life I'm just slow with the camera so I have full control over it and um, depending on the amount of time, this could take two minutes or it could take 10 minutes. Um, especially if you have like a really high frame rate cinematic, like if you're editing PC and the cinematic is like 300 frames per second, it's probably gonna take a while. I got like 3000 frames here. So while you're um, doing this, you're gonna wanna open up your browser, right? And you go to my channel youtube.com slash idk and just so that I know you love me subscribe and like every single video that is on there um, that would be nice also thank you for the good feedback on my Mules miles episode and uh, Milo's episode it's funny how these two names kind of sound alike I don't know um, I worked pretty hard on both the episodes and they're getting some pretty good feedback so thanks for that for the fans man that's why I'm doing this for the fans I'm supposed to be shooting a soccer game soon and my camera is uh, it has like a half battery life so you know tough tits and I'm gonna have to do that in about an hour I think so whatever you know this might take a while too but while it's doing this go ahead and press the little T up here on this like tool toolbar thing and then you're gonna type in your text. So I'm gonna name this tutorial because we're gonna be that generic. This is, whoa, wait. This is one font I like to use, Myraid Pro, but what I use most of the time is Arial. Did this even change? Yeah, it did. Okay. Those texts look alike. And then, um, always keep the audio off, by the way, or else, like, when you sync it, depending on how you do it, you're gonna hear some weird sounds, and you're not gonna want that. Jesus Christ! It takes forever! It's step two out of two! It should not take this long! Oh my god. Come on! And if it takes too long... You'll get some really good work ethics if you hand track it. Dude! I have 8 gigs of RAM. I have an i7 processor. Like, does that even mean anything? Fuck it. Turning this damn light on. Yo, I got stuff to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I have my beard yet? It's been seven minutes. Okay, I don't recommend having a very long cinematic unless you're willing to wait. So then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go right here on whatever point right here that you want to uh, track and you're gonna right click or you could like draw this, but we don't need to do that. You're gonna right click you're gonna press create null and camera and then that's gonna tell you that's gonna give you like oh, oh yeah make this text invisible that's what's gonna tell you you know where 
You want to track it if you set it on the right point. Oh god, no, don't don't do that. Then you want to make a new solid. So that's layer new solid. And uh, you're gonna need a plugin for this. Element 3D. And uh, you can look that up. It's pretty cool. Good stuff. Yeah. Also, before you do anything, duplicate this layer, like your bottom one with your cinematic. And then um, delete this. You're not gonna need that. And then right click anywhere on there. It's fine. Depends. Whatever you're working on. And then you're gonna do freeze frame and then make that layer invisible. So then go right here, custom texture and maps, do it on the freeze frame thing, and then um, set your custom text and masks to the text that you wanna track. Then you're gonna to wanna to extrude, right? So you got your nice text here, but it's really bland, so. Go ahead and uh, do this with the environment. A dog is trying to come in the room. I'm making a tutorial, god damn. And then take your white shiny. Whoa, we're talking about materials here and put that on your text. So it's looking pretty good. And uh, change the bevel expand to a little bit. And this is gonna be better for your shadows and stuff. And then go to your reflection on the material. And, uh, bump that up a little bit so you can like see it's kind of glossy you know what I'm saying if you have the pro shaders you can go to like metal and there's some other stuff here you know maybe try to match like the environment of um, the text and where it is and stuff you know press ok go to your null press P and now this is where it gets kind of tricky because depending on your cinematic these values could be like off the charts man and then you're gonna go to group one particle replicator and then copy all these values you know z to z your uh, y to y and your x to x and then your text is going to come up right there and maybe change the size if you need to so we're going to make this like 45 yeah and then uh, I'm going to change the z space so that kind of fits where I want this to go and do the rotation and uh, just rotate it a little bit until it fits your needs and stuff. We got a pretty good looking uh, spot for the text. Bring it down a little bit. So um, so now this is, this is the fun part. Now a lot of people like to composite the text where they go through with the levels and the curves and do all this stuff. I don't like to do that because sometimes it can blend in a little too well. So normally what I just like to do is I go to the render settings ambient occlusion enable change the intensity to 10 change the samples to 90 and this is another thing if you have a bad computer don't even try this because it's gonna crash um, and what the samples is is these little things right here it's like gonna take away the grain the more samples you do the less grainy it's gonna get and then um, play with the radius maybe 2.14 let's make that 4 and see how it change it back to 0.5 what really brings it out more is the gamma and that makes it look really it look really nice so um you know go to the lighting maybe change it to 360 do whatever you want well not 360 that looks ugly and cinema so that looks pretty good um that's what i do for most of my text um if you guys have any questions just put in the comments any more tutorials let me know any edits that I've made, you want to know how I did something, tell me, and I will be sure to make a tutorial on it. And um, I will catch you guys in the next tutorial. So, yeah. Saw DK signing out. Goodbye.